I do think that this is a moment in which people of goodwill respond by standing with each other against hatred. We have to stand up for vulnerable people. Vulnerable being, you know, if they're vulnerable because they've been targeted because of their race or religion or ethnicity or um, physical abilities or sexual orientation or gender, we have to be really clear about what our values are. We, all of us, um, have to be allies. You know, last, last week, the day after the election, I met with um, the executive committee of the Interfaith Conference. I'm on the executive committee. And we had a meeting. And that day happened to be Kristallnacht. It was the, the anniversary of Kristallnacht, which was the day of, of pogroms in Germany. And interestingly, you know, um, Gerbils, made a statement, he was a propaganda minister, I'm not sure of his exact title, but he made a statement before that saying, we're not calling for riots, but um, if something happens, I don't have the exact quote, but if something happens, you know, we're not going to get in the way. Um, so he never overtly called for the pogroms at which all of these synagogues were destroyed, all of these Jewish businesses were targeted, all of these people were killed, and that really was the acceleration of pogroms into, um, or you know, riots that targeted Jews that, and others, it was really accelerated into the Holocaust. So not everything is about the Holocaust, but I would say that, that it is a, it's a perfect example for why we have to be in strong alliance with, with others who identify according to faith or ethnicity or whatever their community is. We have to be in strong alliance with each other because we need friends. So I said to, the, to my colleagues in the executive committee, I said, that Kristallnacht, that's why I'm at this table, because I need, we need friends, and we all need friends. And so if we can really know each other and really know what's important to each other, in this case it has to do with our faith identities, then we can stand up for each other. And, you know, if we've, all, if we've been given the privilege, human beings have been given the privilege to create societies, right? And we have examples of societies that have worked and not worked all across the world, all, in the world, everywhere in the world. Isn't it our job to try to come together and create power to do good together? So I think that aligning through our religious differences, which have historically been a great cause of division and violence, but if we can align across all those barriers, can we make, can we create more power to, to move our community, our shared community, to a better place. I think that's, it's essential. Again, there's the push and the pull, right? That if there's the covenant of fate, there's that. You know, we, it could, hatred is a thing, it's an organism, and it, it, choose, it changes its targets. So now, um, we have to be really mindful of what it's like to be Muslim or Arab in our community. We have to be really mindful about what it's like to be black in our community. And we have to know, you know, Jews are not the most targeted people in Milwaukee right now. We have to know that. But that's the, you know, the, but we have to, and we have to stand together because tomorrow it could be a different community, right? I mean, we have to stand together because we do have shared responsibility. But there's also the pull, which is that we've been given this great responsibility to, and this great freedom to do something with our society together, you know? We've been given all of this power, so who are we gonna elect? Who are we going to choose to be our leaders? What are we going to choose to do with the natural world? How are we going to make sure that the people can turn on their tap and have, have fresh water come out and that the, the chances that somebody who lives in the central city get fresh, clean water are the same as somebody who lives in Cedarburg? You know, how do, so all of those things are, you know, it's a view of what it means to build a just society. And I think that's, that's the pull factor. That's the, you know, the covenant of faith. Like there's a great opportunity for creativity and alliance building. And, you know, can we, there's an expression in, in Judaism of the Rabbit Tachton, like can we build in our lived life, you know, here on earth, can we make a community that's reflective of heaven, essentially? So, you know, there's the push of hatefulness, but there's the pull of an opportunity to, to come together to do good things. 
You know, and if we can't see ourselves in the lives of other people, then we, what an anemic, terrible worldview. You know, if we can't see that, that number one, it could be me, but number two, it is me. Then that's, there's a poverty in that.